advanced hydrogen. Um, in my quest for other weird uh, hydrogen producing uh, phenomenon, I have been experimenting with um, classic rodent coils. Um, I've got two here wound in a specific way. Uh, followed the patterns on YouTube, just pretty much wound them that way. Um, got them sitting one on top of another in between some of my modules. Anywho, I want to show you something. I got uh, meters hooked up here. I get this one. Um, I, I'm getting like a self resonate, uh, resonating. The rodent is just sitting here. They're hooked up in uh, parallel. And uh, I've got on each one two windings. And I think I've got uh, 18 iterations on each one. I'm not sure anymore. It's been a long time. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's 30 gauge wire. Uh, it's enamel, double enamel coated uh, magnetic wire, and I've got them uh, done in the uh, uh, the way that they're saying to do it on YouTube, where you have the uh, the space in between them, as you can see. see. Okay. So, anyways, the, the phenomenon I've discovered is a I'm getting from uh, anywhere from 500k to 3 gigahertz um, frequency, and I, I can get that you know by using checking it with my frequency counter and I can also do this little couple of steps you make in here inside these uh, velvins where you can do the markers and you can figure out what it's doing but uh, this is a phenomenon I discovered it's kind of interesting I've got uh, double neo magnets right here uh, in 45s a real tough little beast and um, I use these for my fuel lines um, you know put the south on the fuel line and you you know, you negatively, quote unquote, you south charge, negatively charge the fuel. Air is positively charged where it's north. Um, check this out. I'm going to pull the scope a little bit closer here. Hopefully you can see the scope. What I'm doing is see the scope. Watch this when I run this magnet over. All I'm going to do is, is I'm just taking the magnet in my hand, and, you know, obviously it's it's going gonna, it's gonna to pull. See how it, okay, there's a pretty good magnetic field in here. See it? So I'm going to hold it in my hands so I don't lose it. And uh, watch the scope. If I can get you going on the scope here, make shade it a little bit so you can see it better. Now watch this. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? This is all I'm doing. Look at this. I'm just taking my hand over the top of the rodent coils, and I'm just moving my hand back and forth. And it's, it affects the frequencies. Look at that. Now if I pull my hand away and leave it alone, it's just fine. Let's get it to stretch out a bit here. Do it again. Isn't that cool? Now another thing I noticed too, which might get a kind of a, a kick out of, let's get this thing going over here, is uh, <clears throat> I've got this thing set on millivolts. So it's 0 .008 millivolts AC. For some reason it won't work on DC. But if I short out uh, all four of these modules, just put my hand on it, short them out, which you see that the the voltage drops. Watch, I'll take my hand off. It'll go up. And I'll put it back down. And it starts dropping. Isn't that wild? I have no idea why it does that. But, uh, anywho, that's the... It doesn't affect the, the frequency when I put my hand on and off it. See, it doesn't affect it at all. But it does affect it if I take this Neo and I put it over the top. Okay, so I'm putting it over the top. But get this, if I run it down the side, like up and down the side like this, see if I can get a good shot here. It doesn't do anything to it. Let me back off here, hang on, so you can see this better. There you go. Over the top, there it is, that's the top. And here's the side, nothing. All no matter which way around it. Okay, all right. If I try to put it in between, which I can't really because of magnets grab. It's just grabbing it. If I put it in between, you can see I can get a little bit of a weird thing going on there. See it? So anyways, all right, well, yeah, advanced hydrogen, playing with uh, some other worldly weird things.